All right, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome to Bummer's Barbecue. Thank you for all the subs, the views. It's much appreciated. Look here. We got four racks of some nice baby backs right here today. Uh, if you watched my last video, I showed you how to take the silver skin off the back of them. I'm not going to do that again. If you're going to cook ribs, take the silver skin off. You don't have to, but it's nice. So, we're going to do these on the Pit Boss again tonight. First, we got some French's yellow mustard. Get that squirted on them good here. We're going to start with the back side because we're going to cook them back side down. Don't need a lot. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Rub them down this way. So I can shake with my other hand. Oh, I hope I go and open these bottles. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got some new rib or some rubs today. Man, rub prices are getting ridiculous. I'm about ready to just go back to doing my own again. But I want to try something different. Even bought some Pit Boss ones today, up at Lowe's. Even though I really haven't liked Pit Boss's rubs too much, we're going to give this one a try. Uh, let's see, which one are we going to do first? Uh, yeah, we'll try the Pit Boss one first. Pit Boss Sweet Rib Rub. Oh, got to make some room here. Get these covered up good. Hope I don't make as big of a mess as Miss Ellie usually does. Oh yeah. It looks like a nice rub. As long as it doesn't cake up, you know, in the jar. As soon as I'm done with this video, like most of them do. All right, then we're going to go on. Um, sorry, don't have my reading glasses on, but it's Touch of Cherry. It's a barbecue rub with a cherry smoke to it. It's supposed to be sweet. We all like sweet around here. We don't like the hot stuff. Let's get these things rubbed down good with this. Oh yeah. Those are looking good. I like the look of those rubs there. We're gonna press them down in here. You don't have to put as much on the bottom as you do the top guys. If you want to fully flavor it up. Get them going good. See, not a lot falling off after I press them in. Man, I should have cut that big piece off, but oh well. It'll be eatable. Uh, more yellow mustard. Come on. Doing this one handed there, guy. Come on. sit here and rest let's go out and get the pit boss fired up and we will be using apple and hickory pellets in it today folks change it up from the competition blend which i normally use had a good mixture of them let's go out and get it fired up all right i said pellet hoppers filled up with hickory and apple wood turn her to smoke turn her on get her fired up I think I'm gonna uh, probably smoke these on a smoke setting at P5 for about two hours and then I'm gonna turn it up to about 250 to finish them off 
see how it goes. All right, guys, it's fired up. Smoke setting. Let's open the chimney here just a little bit. About a finger's width. There we go. That's good. Like I said, I've been playing with the P settings, so we're just going to go P5 today see what we get we're gonna do this for two hours on p5 then crank it up to probably gonna do 250 the remainder of it till we get them up to the temps then look we want be back out when we bring the ribs out been out here about 15 minutes p5 is sitting right around 195 out here today it's a pretty hot day let's get these ribs get ready to get them put on all right guys, I showed you we're running about 195 on smoke setting on P5. We're just gonna take these and throw these on here. We're gonna smoke for about two hours. Try to get these lined up good. I'm gonna put them each direction. Here, get crunched up nice here. That's the biggest, thickest one, but we'll put it over here more toward the heat. Most of the heat comes out over here on the side where the smoke stack's at. Now, separate these just a little bit. They're getting good smoke between all of them. Make sure they're getting straight, squished up. There we go. I think those are looking good. We let these go for about an hour. See how they're looking. All right, guys, we are now a little over an hour in. Right above the ribs, it's saying 150. Temp Pro over here on the left side, it's saying 175. Let's see what these are looking like. <laughs> oh, they ain't too dried out yet. They looking good, but hey, got a mixture here of three quarters apple juice and a quarter Worcestershire woo woo sauce. You know that. Couldn't get these sprayed down good. mop these up after they get up to town. We'll see you folks there in another hour. So we are two hours in. They're, they're still smoking good. We're running about 150. It's 160. Let's see what these things are looking like. Oh my goodness. They're looking good. Time to get them cranked up. As you might be able to tell, it's uh, starting a nice thunderstorm here and raining. We're gonna keep cooking through it. We'll see you folks here in maybe 30 minutes. See how these are doing. All right, guys, it took a few minutes out here with these storms. You can see the rain pouring in. Wind, storm, turned up 300. Oh yeah, she's cranking up now. Get her ready. Got a few more beers. Get these ribs done. Time to get some sauce made up. We got some of the Max beer. Bike some barbecue again. Oh, pour a little bit of that in here. We're going to make a nice mop sauce for it. Let this warm up. What's the big jug, baby? And, oh, sorry. Sweet baby rays. There we go. Oh, that's super thick. The other's nice and thin. Oh, way too much, but hey. Can't ever have too much barbecue sauce. 
We're gonna put this out on the grill a little bit, let it start getting warm. We are now over two, two and a half hours in. Just opened it up, but we're looking at them. I think they need to be sprayed a little bit more. Got the barbecue sauce on there now also. Get these things frisked up a little bit more. Seventy-five to two hundred, depending on where they're at on the pit boss. We'll, we'll check on them probably another thirty minutes. We're a little over three hours into these. I had them on P five setting for two hours. I've had them cranked up to three fifty. Uh, no, three hundred. About another hour. Been spritzing them, changing them around a little bit. Like I said, got the barbecue sauce out here. So what kind of temps we got here. Oh, why the hell did they turn off? There we go. Yep. Yep, these things are way up the temp, guys. Yep. Pull a barbecue sauce on these and let them go about another five ten minutes. Sorry about the rain, but uh, hold on. Oh, forgot my mop. Come here, let me go ahead and pull the sauce off. Let me go grab my mop real quick. We'll get ready to start basting these down. Let's see, we got to run it at 300 still. I hope you saw the temp that's running it at. These are well up to about 215, 220 on each inside. Uh, got my mop stops here. These things mopped up. Oh well, I'll make a mess. Doesn't matter. Let's clean them up. These things are getting ready to start falling off the bone. Those are looking good. We have a few more minutes, probably about five minutes. Let the sauce sit. We'll be back inside, guys. Three hours and 17 minutes into them. They're way up above temp. Those things are looking pretty good. Pull them off. We're going to let these rest a few minutes while everything else is getting ready. Try to here. Oh, I'm probably gonna drop this in the floor with this rain and everything else. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to film one handed in a storm, folks. It's kind of hard. They looking good. We'll see you folks inside. Sorry, everybody's hungry. Mr. Ben's a little hungry. That's what we got wrapped up here. And they'll... So they've been resting Woo! about 10 minutes here. Oh. Trash can's full. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna need some gloves. Give me one second. Had to get the gloves. These things are still hot. Look at those. Yeah, I should have pulled the blood and stuff off of them, but... A little burnt on the back side, but it don't matter. Not matters what's on top. Um, right there. I'm not even cutting my fingers tonight. Nice slipping and everything. Oh, I did crank them up a little bit too much on the bottom, I think, but I think the top's going to be good. And it's more on what's on the inside. Yeah, better you turn them up this way. And, and like. Oh, see, there I am, Mom. Turn a, another finger off the glove. 
That's what we got here. Sorry about Ben, folks. He's hungry. Hold on. Can't do this with my fingers. Or with these gloves on. And something you should do in real life. Never judge a book by its covers. You want something oh. inside. Right, Dad? Those things are super hot. Right, Dad? Never judge a book by its cover. Always. Yep. Yeah. Always, always use the inside. Let me get the rest of these sliced up real quick. Quick. And we'll be back. Oh, look at there. That's got a good smoke ring on it, folks. Let me get the rest of these sliced up and we'll be right back. They got a pretty nice smoke ring on them. There's my Sally's. Still a little bit hot, but let me try a bite of these, see how they are. Ooh, oh. Yummy. A little crispy on the bottom, but that don't matter. That's not where the meat's at. It's on the top. But, back in a minute, I gotta make sure my test taster gives me her rating. Test taster? You. I, I'm saying a, a 10. They're pretty good. We'll be back in a second. Are you ready to bite? Yeah. Okay. Um, that's my rating, baby. <laughs> I made these good and slimy tonight, folks. Both hands. Both hands. hands. <laughs> Trying to wipe your fingers off. Thanks for watching. Yeah, bottom side's burnt. But hey, all the meat's on the top. They're delicious. Thanks for watching. If you want to, please go click the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time. Be safe. Love you.